Sorry about this something in my But hey y'all, Seagull, back with another part of Silent Hill 3. Uh, in the last part, we uh, made our way through the locked door with the keypad on the third floor. Um, we read Stanley's final note to us, warning us about Leonard. Then we got a call from Leonard, uh, found out that his daughter is Claudia, and he knows we want to kill her. And he is trapped here. He said he's at the uh, end of the second floor. So right now we're gonna go. Uh, that was the wrong door. Sorry. Um, we're gonna go set him free, I guess. Can whatever is making that fucking noise stop? He said at the end of the hall on the second floor, so maybe maybe it's M6. Maybe I need to go back this way. And I don't have a map of this area. Oh boy. Oh! Oh fun! Oh fun! Okay, uh, we'll go this way. I am not a fan of this, in the slightest. I will say that right now. Not a huge fan of that camera change. Alright, we have a intersection here. I guess I'll go left. Okay, nothing that way. Alright, I won't be going that way. Christ, can we just get to where we need to go already, please? Enough of this intersection fucking red hallway bullshit. This picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one. It must be. Bill has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open, getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping this child alive? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. That nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was she, uh, who was so heavenly? Toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Alright, now we are in the other world or whatever. Oh god, oh fuck. Well, there's a mouth on that wall there. And then, uh,. I don't remember his name, but he's that guy who's been watching over us this entire time.
Ah. Uh... Okay, so I do I do have a map of this area technically. I don't I need to check this out. I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. It's locked. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Safe point. You know, before I touch that, I'm gonna save. Ah. <laughs> uh... Ah. Uh... Alright, I can't interact with the hand. I tried. But I got some handgun bullets, which is cool. Um, what am I sitting at for handgun bullets? I feel like I must have a ton. Okay. 56 really isn't that much. But I also, like, don't use the handgun that much. Alright, well. Found the save point, which is good. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping, dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full out bloodletting. Uh, oh, okay, so that's a puzzle. Um, well, I mean, it's not surprising that it's a puzzle, but it's a puzzle that I'll have to remember. Yo, man, these camera shots, I'm not going to lie, have got me all the way fucked up. You demonic baby! Go! Go away! Please don't touch me! Alright, I'm back to shooting, niggas. Fuck you. Get up, Heather! Ugh, oh, fuck Christ. Stop! Get up! You know, I guess I'm just gonna have to outrun you, because you're being annoying. I'm wasting all my ammo trying to kill you. It's the rum. Because Heather hates mirrors. What the hell? Uh, I don't know the solution to this. I just know that she hates mirrors. Uh, that's a disgusting noise. Um,. I gotta die, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, this is unsettling as fuck. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm losing health. Uh... I don't know what to do!
Oh, okay, so I could just leave. Okay. Okay, so I can use the L. Okay. Um. Can I just open the door? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not finished on this floor. Wait, did I already come through here? Yeah, this is this is where I came from. Heather, get up! And that was the room with the mirror, so I'm not gonna. Oh, and I can't go that way. Okay, so I can't get to the stairs. Okay, so... I have to take the elevator to get to where I want to go. I want y'all to know, I am not having a good time. I just want y'all to know that right now, I am scared out of my mind. I'm losing it. But, sometimes, that's... I didn't even read what she said, I was just fucking clicking through things because I'm a bitch. Hello? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name. Not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I... He said 31st at first. ...for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday.
There's nothing coming from the receiver. Well, duh, the phone's not connected. What about that phone call? Well, that was a fairly unsettling phone call. And now there are enemies here. Literally, fuck off. Plastic bag, health drink. Nothing important here in the trash. No use digging around in there anymore. There's a bloodstained white robe hung up on the wall. Does it mean anything? Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Well, I kind of already did. Uh, can I kill it? No. Well, I've got a plastic bag for whatever reason. Uh, totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from the trash can in the locker room. Maybe I need it for the blood? Maybe? I mean, realistically, I probably need it for another puzzle, but... Not knock me on the ground, die. Thank you. I took way more ammo than I'd like it to. That is why I wasn't killing them before. How much ammo do I have left? Yeah, see, I don't. I have like no ammo right now. In my handgun, anyway. Okay. I can't get there, so that whole area means nothing. Uh, let's let's get through through the day room, because that's how I was able to. Well, actually, no, there was no there there was no door here. So I can't. Unless it's not unless it's there. All right, so I got what I needed from this floor, I believe. To the first floor. All right, I hear things, see nothing, but here is a note. The world is teeming with- Can you shut up for like five seconds? Your breathing is annoying. Alright. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It is God's dis- I need to like take my headphones off so I can fucking read this. I can hear myself think. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones, but it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Um, I think Vincent said he had a seal, right? Okay, um... So we have a lot to explore on this floor. And I'm sure most of it's gonna be locked, but... We still have a lot to look through. I would like to check the doors in peace. I'm sure this is where a save point was before. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
The nurses, when they meet my blade, they literally, like, why even bother? Why even bother? Go back to sleep. Fuck, fuck out. Call out for the day. Oh, got another save point. And pool. Handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not sure about to. I'm not about to use them. That's for. There's a memo here on the chart. Doctor Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got. He, nah, rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. Yes, it looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Well, you know, he stabbed somebody over religious beliefs, so I don't know about that one. What are we looking at for time? That's crazy. We're already at 21 minutes. That's crazy. All right. Um... I don't like, I really don't like doing short parts, but like, just for my own mental health, I just do them in short parts. Um, yeah, uh, what are we doing this part? Um, we finally, we made our way towards Leonard, and we're in the other world section of the hospital now. Um, we got a phone call from someone sing us happy birthday we did the famous mirror scene or mirror room and i guess we're still trying to make it to leonard or I'm, I'm just trying to get out of this hospital i want to make it to the carnival um i never knew how long this game was i've seen an entire playthrough of this game and i don't remember most of this game somehow but but yeah um in the next part we will make our way through or continue making our way through the hospital all right, y'all have a good day. Peace.